Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL semi-final of season 45 and boy howdy, we're opening the pitch invasion. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Has massacred the chaos defense. <laughs> oh my god. A very deep kick though, so it's not like they could just walk past and lock the ball up high. Wow. Yes. If anything, I think the Norse miss out here because uh, they, they don't get one of their LOS hits. No, but they don't miss out because they get to hit with uh, they get to hit the high value players and foul them, don't they? So it's true. It's got to be good. Um, anyway, it's Toast Guy and his Norse versus Sniperino and his Chaos. Sniperino had two hundred k in the bank and he put a hundred in for a bribe. Toast Guy has got a wizard and a bribe in inducement. And yeah, he's got a, he's got a Norse team that doesn't look too great, <laughs> and Sniperino's cares look pretty rowdy. But of course, all these claws, four claws, will be wasted TV again, apart from the one Yeti. <laughs> and in the booth with me is Rick Reckless, the legend himself. Hello, hello, Jim. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you very much for uh, for joining me. This is. Glorious. An honour. An honour to call a game with a legend like yourself. Oh, wow. We, we've done a few Blitzbit finals back in the day. Yeah. yeah. Until finally one of us made the final. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, broke broke the, uh, the run that we had. Congratulations again on that. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, dear. And yeah, I'm, uh, I'm glad you dragged me in on this, actually. This is uh, absolutely fascinating to see Norse back in a Chalice semi-final for the first time in a, a very, very long time. And also, Chaos, like a very popular race and a very good race, but just haven't been doing it in Chalice. You know, haven't won since almost Shawnee's victory or something ridiculous, like years yeah. ago. Yeah. Great to see them both in a semi-final. Going to be interesting, whichever one makes it to the final. Yeah, it's a good point. But yeah, he's actually it's actually pretty terrible. This this Norse team, like he only has the one guard, doesn't he? So it's really hard for him to get anything, even despite all of this. <laughs> it's actually huh. still really hard for him to get decent hits in. Uh he's got the Yeti and the Ulf guard, but the Yeti is very hard to position the guard where you want it to go. And that is still very little guard. You you hope for some doubles really, one on one of the runners so that you've got a blood step guard and then just some cheap guard on the lineman and uh, if you don't get those doubles then yeah you end up very short guard because you really have to make the zerkers into killers um yeah i guess he could have put guard on the other ulf but he decided to go mighty blow oh yeah yes there are there are th three armor rates for the claws to hit but mostly it's wasted isn't it <laughs> you see that uh, first sweet sweet dirty player foul in a moment oh yeah yeah, only one bribe, but still, I mean, there's two dirty players, and in a way, you'd like to just save it for the claw pom and and the and like the better players, but he could definitely start a snowball, couldn't he? So I think I think this is right to try and go for the snowball. As I completely agree with it. Yeah, I, they're the underdogs. Oh no! no. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the problem when you try that. <laughs> that certainly is. Well, suddenly the decision to... Oh, wow, sure, hands do the thing. Suddenly the decision to uh, overdog a bribe and give away a bribe to the team of two dirty players not looking quite so bad. <laughs> yeah, looks looks like a genius play now. <laughs> <laughs> In the claw bomb, no hesitation. Oh, rolls of double scores. Hello, wow. family. Hello, hey. no, no. Hello, Skuro. Absolute legend. Hey. Thank you very much for joining us in the booth. Sorry, I had someone coming to pick up some manure from me, so uh, I had to take care of that first. No problem at all. Thank you very much. <sighs> yep. <laughs> yep. Wow, not book. even a second. Not even a second. A second. Uh, second glance at the manure delivery. Not no. for sure. That would get. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think that's. I think that's I, obvious I to everyone who knows you. <laughs> <laughs> and shit to do, yes, exactly. <laughs> wow, Tom, ban Tom, ban Tom. Jimmy, I don't ask for much, ban Tom for that. Okay. Oh, it is double fours, just quietly, the Chaos Bribe also gone. Man. Get fucked, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is just begging for a foul, isn't it? Oof. That was a big, that was a big, that was a big pile on. I mean, even if he doesn't have the bribe, he's still going to foul you, isn't he? For sure. 
Yeah, 100%. Pretty brave. It could get a good few men around it as well. Yeah. So, Jim, let me ask you, are, are you rooting for the Norse here? Because you really should be. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I just feel like it's destiny, man. If you're going to win this at all, you got to go through Norse in the final. Like, you just you have to. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> Written in the stars. <laughs> yeah, Ben <and> me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. I mean, it's it's so hard in this match for the the Norse, and there's so much guard for the chaos. Like, what do they? How do they do anything here? They have to. They have to take some men out now, don't they? If, if you know, before the chaos have got going due to the pitch invasion and because of the yellow assets and everything, if they could get some removals now with the palm with the dirty player. Then, uh, then they might be all right, and they've got to get the ball up as quickly as possible. But yeah, if they let the uh, the chaos get a grasp in this at all, get the guard in the right positions, they're in all sorts of trouble. And the chaos already with the two removals, the the Norse have to respond right now. Yeah, yeah. We started with a he hell of a pitch invasion here, huh? Yeah, yeah, huge pitch <laughs> invasion. Yeah, they've just got to blitz with a they've just got to blitz with a yeti. That's all they can do. They they can't hit with anybody else. Oh, I guess maybe this Ulf could. But he's, uh, he's blocked by one of the dirty players. So move this dirty player around, blitz with a wolf, and then... And then foul with the other dirty player. Yeah, that looks like the play now. Yeah, this is... Yeah, this is like the only time the Norse are going to have more than two guys on the on the floor the oh, entire gosh. game, aren't at the... We're not going for the Pommer here. We are not set up. No. Unless he's just being very, very cautious in controlling the middle of the pitch and he's just going to do a, a one-assist foul, which is possible, but one-assist foul against AV8 is a little bit sad. Uh, he's going to foul that Claw Mighty, I think. Yeah, he must do. The, claw Mighty the, tackle. One, one of the few non-guard players on the, on the Chaos team. <laughs> <laughs> that is not the best person to foul, in my opinion. Especially not, oh, boy. Jim fouled. Especially not if you're going to roll double ones. Terrible decision. Would never have made that foul. <laughs> 8 versus 11 in the Chaos's favor now. This is immediately desperate for the Norse. They might just have to take the early score, reload some men, and see what he does right, if they can. Yep. They are set up well to do that, though. Yeah, they've turned the corner a bit thanks to this pitch invasion. So they actually, they actually have got a team that's down. So they run forward. You know, maybe it's GFI a little bit next turn. Then they yeah, can get three, the quick three score. Three GFIs to score in two. I, I don't think they've got any choice but to try that. Yeah, yeah, they're just, they're just not good. There's no way they're going to hang with the with the chaos if they don't bring it in as soon as possible. They've also got the wizard, so not doing the eight turn stall far less bad than it would be for the two on grind if they didn't have the wizard. Yep. Try suggesting the early GG in his own way. Um, <laughs> maybe a good idea for Toast Guy. It's kind of hard, <laughs> kind of hard to early GG when your opponent's got a half his team on the on the on the floor from a kickoff event. But... <laughs> oh, killed him! Oh, <laughs> Obviously, uh, can't two out of three that. of the bench for the Norse already in the Cas box, <laughs> and it's turn two for the Chaos. <laughs> Pylon doing it, doing its work. Almost as if you could have done with fouling it. Almost <laughs> like that. Yeah. I wouldn't have minded blitzing the ulf there. Like, okay, this way he gets to max blocks a little bit. But I really wouldn't have minded just going for the high value player there. But the extra block has got another stun. But I like, you know. Killing that lineman just doesn't really matter, does it? Whereas killing the elf would have been really good. So I wouldn't have minded going for player quality uh, from the chaos point of view. Indeed not. So how how do the North get this ball in scoring range and save? They've got all the players in the right position, but it's still not easy. Would you accept a punt, Rick? <laughs> they could definitely throw the ball into scoring range. They just wouldn't have a player with it. <laughs> no, I think while it's on the blood step, they should probably try and keep it there. It's uh, it's getting the supporting cast along with it. They do have a, a blodging Zerker. So they... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
So they could dodge a dodge Zerker. That is now the only dodge they could do with reroll. They could try and punch the other Zerker clear, but that is not straightforward at all because there's a lot of guard on the two line, and the Yeti could hit fairly reasonably, especially mm. with the Blitz. God, this is horrible. A D chain, baby. <laughs> he could uphill, he could uphill yeah. chain the Berserker into scoring yeah. range and then scored. He could have done. <laughs> oh, gambled and won. Gambled and won. Well played. It's also not get in the way of the Champion Cup logo LOD because there's like three people. It's not easy, is it? What we could do is do this though. <laughs> Oh dear, I'm not, I don't even have your stream open. Let's have the chat. Gorilla Mezzo's 5 foot 10, 6 foot ish. Uh, Gorilla Mezzo, though, is only 4 foot 5. So it is about accurate. Wow, so am I your dick in this situation, Jim? Is that is that the case? Like, you pulled your pants down and I grew out of your crotch there? No, I'm turning him around. <laughs> oh, oh Claw Mighty. Claw Mighty gets a guy. No, boy. I was putting him in. There we go, look. Now we're all equal. Ish. So, <laughs> one more 1D from the Zerker. If he gets the power the first time, or the both down the second time, he would then be free on a Blitz to reposition, and he's got the other one to dodge. It's really these Wrestle Goats that he's got to be afraid of. He's taken out one of the tackles. The other tackle is out of... The other two tackle are both out of range. Makes the dodge on one, yeah. but he's got to keep these Wrestle away from his ball carrier. Yeah, he's just got to dodge, hasn't he? Makes it... God, it's depressing when this is like your literal only chance, isn't it? After a pitch invasion, they knock down four warriors or whatever, three or four yeah. warriors. And he's still just having to desperately get it in as soon as possible before he gets overwhelmed. It's horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. Does he have a wizard? He does have a wizard. Okay. Yeah. So double GFI, two dice with the wrestle on the ball now. Credit to it. Credit to Toast Guy. He's done all he could possibly do. It, yeah. It's been a just a absolutely horrific start on every front for the Norse. But if they can score, if he can survive this turn and the next, then uh, he's, he really is right back in it. Yeah. Assuming he goes his way. Yes. I mean, he's it's only got to go his way once out of twice is the yeah. thing. So, yeah, it does have to eventually go his way. It doesn't necessarily have to be the next drive. And he do, I mean, he does have to get lucky. He was always going to have to get lucky. You know, before the start of the match, right? It's, he was screwed. Instantly by default, so he just has to get lucky. <laughs> about to well, lose his here. Yeah, I like just tagging them first to make sure. There's not much in the way of recovery, is there, for the, uh, for the Chaos, even if they do come in and get the sack? I mean, you could just try and screen off, right? Maybe don't even, oh. you know, maybe this is a Space Cadet situation. Maybe you just... Uh, Blitz the Zerker in front and try and wall off as much as you can. Don't know if he's got the men. Could blitz the Yeti. Take some GFIs. Yeah, you could blitz the Yeti and try and get in the way. Yeah, Heat and a Wizard could definitely make this a 2 0 game for the Norse if uh, they get, you know, exceptionally lucky. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it's just a matter of how many was... players they have by the time they go up 1 0. <laughs> The, the pitch evasion has completely saved them because if, if it wasn't for that, these removals would have stopped them having any hope of getting through and scoring. As it is, if they get through and reload and they've got the wizard and they've got heat in their favor, then yeah, they, they could even become favorites crazily from how bad a start this has been. Yeah. They might lose even if they go to the look first half. That's, that's true as well, Try yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Bet they wish they had a babe right now. Yep. Need all those KOs to come back to be on 11. Their entire bench now in the Kaz box. No pow. Made the GFIs. Gets, gets the pow on reroll. That only leaves that Berserker in range. I think we might have to see the wizard here. Ooh. Oh. Is it an okay scatter? Ah, no. It's just out of range still, huh? All right. No no yeah. wizard then. So I, I, I think you dodge the Berserker into the end zone. You dodge yeah. the runner onto the ball. Make yep. the pass. Yep. Three plus three plus at the end. That's that's the only play I'm seeing here. Yeah, they, yeah, you can't. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with try on that too. No wizard. Absolutely. You just got to score this turn. 
Yeah, but or what lose. I was saying was we didn't know the scatter, right? If the scatter goes near the yeah. warrior, there's certain ways that you just can't get the ball and get it into the end zone yeah. if the scatter goes yeah. badly. So he's got lucky with the scatter that he doesn't have to use the wizard. Yeah. But he almost, I, I think he would have had to have if it had landed in a tackle zone. Yeah. Well, you got the four plus pickup with sure hands, though. It's not awful if it's in a tackle zone. It's not great. I mean, <laughs> but. Yeah, he goes for this. I like, I like the dodge one, D. Nice. Works out. All the dodge one D does, though, is stop you having to dodge with the runner. Yeah, who has dodge? But you're dodging yep. a dodge anyway, and you might you might hurt him, right? You might you might yeah. do something. It makes your failure state better. It, it makes you it means you can hand off You'd on the floor. You'd rather hurt the bomber of... than the than leave the runner on the floor. Me, I don't know. It means you can hand off on the floor. Right? Rick, Rick, it means you can hand off on the four, right, instead of a five. Or, or you've got to. Pass oh, if you're handing off now, I yeah. I think I'm. Oh, gosh, I was thinking I pass into the. I think hand off on a four. Plus I, I do yeah. want to if I'm passing to the end zone personally, and that's he, what he's doing he's anyway. He's passing too. I think handoff's better. Oh, oh he's not that, doing anything. <laughs> that might be game, yeah. <laughs> which is yeah. terrible to say. Turn four. That really could be game. Yeah. No, I, I like I like that for then the four plus handoff. Yeah, that that was literally what I was thinking was just do the handoff then. I just went through an entire fucking range of emotions there. <laughs> <laughs> is two three three better than four? Like I don't think so. But then it means you do have to do the one Ds. So, like, if you're going to do that hit, then I think you do that hit to do the handoff. Like, that would be the reason to do the hit. Just pushed up for a sideline cage, yeah. You, you might get boxed in and never get back out. He's only adds three, right? Yeah. No, I'm You're being I, I, massively I, I, overwhelmed by numbers now. I, I, I just couldn't see the chaos letting them through if you waited another turn personally. No, yeah, I, I would have absolutely banged it in, yeah. I would have banged it in. But I would have done that dodge and one D to then do the handoff rather than the pass and catch. Yeah, I, I, they're pretty similar, right? That's absolutely fine. Well, I mean, I think that's the only reason to do the blitz. So, yeah, either either just dodge out. Once and you've then, done it, yeah, yeah, do do the handoff. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. Yeah. Well, this is depressingly bad. I mean, it, it, it isn't absolutely overwrite because there is still the Wizard in Heat for the second half. It, it seems a disaster. It, it is really about as bad as it could have gone for the North. <laughs> if they get luck to this degree in their favor later, it, you never know. You never know. I mean, the problem is it's not even... They've, they can't, they've got to get more lucky than this because <laughs> they're still way behind on teams, aren't they? So it's like they've got oh, to get oh. insanely lucky. Oh boy. Ooh, well, that's oh, there it way. is! Whoa. This could be the luck if it bounces up and to the left. No, oh. <laughs> if it bounces up through the north and to the left, there's a chance. I don't know. Berserker can still get into the end zone because he's got jump up right. Yeah. So yeah. you can bolt the pommer and, and get the ball and pass it to him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but there goes your wizard. That's like your only chance. I mean, I mean, if you lose the ball, you lose anything. I guess but the problem with bolt yeah. is you've then got no route through. Yeah, and also it's it's not stopping the score, and you know it's not turning a one nil into a one nil the other way. It's turning into a one one, right? Because you're not going to stop them in four turns probably. And but then you then you're relying on the uh, on the heat. But at least you got yeah. the heat shot. Yeah. So he just stood up and did nothing else with that. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, that didn't seem like a thing to do to just stand up like that. Yeah, he doesn't have sidestep, so he's getting surfed. Yeah, like surely you want to dodge him if you're gonna stand him up. Maybe he clicked on the wrong guy. I don't know. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? You could four three the zerker, the pom zerker, into position to surf the pommer, and then have the ball back on the runner again. Do the surf with the runner. No, nah, but pick it back up. Four three towards the Ulf because he's got jump up with the Pommer. Yeah. 
don't, I don't get it though. And then there's, and then it's another three and two GFIs. But you, oh well, that's <laughs> that's not happened. <laughs> no. Hey, he kept his wizard at least. Yeah. He will, he, he will enjoy that in call next season. <laughs> <laughs> This is, I mean, it was a shocking disparity in teams. Like, how many guard is this? Like, oh, seven guard or something? It feels like three, four, five, six guard, and all that mighty blow and like all Jimmy's that strength. Jimmy's fantastic shit at this game. Nothing. A Norse team. <laughs> um, he, yeah, he, 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 he clearly needs a strength five uh, catcher, elf, and uh, and a bunch of guard on his team to really be able to compete. Yep. He needed a little, his kill skills to do a little bit on the LOS, it did nothing. And then he needed, I said right from the start, he needs his fouls to fire, right? The dirty player. And he immediately used the bribe to a stun and then got the guy sent off on the next foul, you know, yeah. <laughs> which it just doesn't get any worse. No. No, like it went badly, but it was, I just felt like it was always going to, like the team, I thought the team disparity was just absolutely massive. But I mean, he definitely could have hired, obviously, like, you know, he's got, he had some piling on and mighty blow of his own he, in that. You know, beastmen are only armor eight, so he, he could have absolutely high rolled, but uh, he hasn't. <laughs> oh man, another problem now for the Norse is they've got four men in the KO box that they're only going to get one roll for. Yep. They need every single one of those back to be on 11 as it stands right now, let alone by the time we get to halftime. The Chaos don't even need their KOs to be on 11 for the second half. The good thing is that's the 2+, plus, right? Everyone else has got to roll a 2+, plus, so it's not that much worse being KO'd than being in reserve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and try. I don't know about that. I mean, he could whiz and he's still getting scored on at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That's that's the problem. Like the worst yeah, thing is just whizzing just and still him. getting scored on, isn't it? Yeah. Better off, yeah, just base the ball with sidestep and hope for quads. <laughs> yeah. Well, hexa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair. <laughs> <laughs> Chaos do have no reroll. I guess it's not even quads or hexa, it's just triple skull. Just hope for triple skull. Because of the sidestep, right? He, he could get lucky and stay on the ball, and then the the ball fails the dodge away. Like, I mean, if Colian plays <laughs> terribly, yes. Chaos <laughs> <laughs> are out of reroll. Oh, not by the way. Sorry, Sniperino. Yeah, Sniperino. We don't know it's Colian, but yes, if Sniperino plays terribly, then yes. But no, he hasn't done. He's he's made it three dice and he stopped the sidesteps. Oh well. No trips. Let him score. <laughs> you know, no. You're letting him score anyway. It's just whether you waste your wizard before you let him score. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> really, I think I think there was no real good time to use the wizard this drive. Just just horrible. Yeah, hope for some luck on the KOs, hope for some luck with the heat, and maybe the wizard can be of some value in the second half and get you to overtime. Yeah. I mean, they've still got the dirty player. They can still foul the claw upon the second half. You know, once. <laughs> yeah, it's looking, it's looking terrible for Toast. Toast guy. Toast guy is Toast. Wow, it's in the reroll for this hit. Gosh, yeah, I kind of thought he was just trying to put the ult on the floor, but uh, I like a guy that tries. Yeah. That was fair enough, right? If he gets the ball on the ground, then uh, then you know things could happen. Right, you blow hit, it gets the power, you know, stuns him. Then that was that was well worth try, for sure. He's in a position where he needs to super high roll <laughs> to get something for this match. So yeah, I, I like to see it. <laughs> Look at that! He fails to go for it, and then. <laughs> <laughs> Box cars on the armor. <laughs> <laughs> Always the way. Yeah, I mean this should be 
No dice rolls required now, should they? Like, if, he, if he got lucky and killed that ball carrier, that's one thing that the Chaos have no replacement for what? at all. Um, <laughs> what a lunatic. <laughs> wow! What a lunatic. Wow. Oh, I, hang on. Okay, so I suppose, I suppose, they, he'd obviously just score on the shorthand edge piece right next turn. Yeah, but it's still 1 in 36 to not score. Well, yeah, was he? Yeah. Maybe he was more worried about the wizard coming in on turn eight. Oh breaking yeah, armor. yeah, that's it, wizard. Clever, clever squirrel. That was yeah, Rick reckless like. Yeah. <laughs> Try. Yeah. No, it was yeah, ah. the wizard, the wizard. That was it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because he's not gonna wizard with the sure hands sitting right there. Yeah. Am I not supposed to comment on my own match? Is this a faux pas? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was it, wasn't it? There, the part. I thought oh, he was risking doing the trip skulls again. Oh, man, he's already made one. No, cast. If he hands it back, if he hands it back to the other guy to score on, <laughs> passes it. That's passes crazy. It. <laughs> <laughs> he's on twenty-seven, right? So oh, a touchdown yeah. and a completion. Yeah, Rick is sniperino. Oh, he just scores. He'll go for the pass later. <laughs> <laughs> He'll go for the pass later. So I think Sniper has been exemplary so far, the greatest uh, global coach I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that is not good KO rolls for the doors. Yeah, I mean, me too, me too, try, but, but still. It's, it's not lunatic, is it? It's still only 3% he doesn't score, even if he fails the handoff. Yeah, it's a, it's got a two plus with a re, with a free reroll on it. Yeah. Alright guys, so Norse down to eight. The heat does hit the chaos a little bit, including two of their best, if not their best two players, but they are on ten and they get the LOS hit, so we're looking for a miracle wizard here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, huge heat huge heat roll. Blitz Blitz could help. The KO rolls killed the Norse have lost one of their guard and their Palmer though. Uh, to the KO, or rather failed to get them back from the KOs. Yeah. He's a little too far back to take advantage if he does get the Miracle Blitz. <gasps> oh, wow. If Sniperino wins in normal time, he doesn't level his Claw Pommer to tackle. Fantastic. <laughs> Let's go, Sniperino. <laughs> Win in normal time, please. <laughs> Jim is guaranteed to face him in the finals. Uh... <laughs> This is, yeah, this is the first semi-final. Uh, my one is tomorrow, this uh, at uh, 20, no, 1800 UTC. But this is the only one that we don't know the result of ahead of time, so. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. Jim is definitely winning his. 100% Skuro guarantee. 100% Skuro guarantee. <laughs> Have you have you spliced in a, a choke slam through the cage halfway through? Oh, God, that would have been amazing, <laughs> wouldn't it? That would have been amazing, but. Sadly not. I was, I was, I was looking forward to seeing your effort and trying to make that happen. Yeah, I just ran out. I just uh, ran out uh, of time, unfortunately. I know. I figured as much. Yeah, I did. I, like I didn't even attempt it. So it was fine though, because that you got that cool um, uh, top rope choke slam counter. Yeah, yeah, that was good, was wasn't it? And I thought, that often. yeah, and I thought a swift win for Goliath would like work story wise anyway. Yeah. But yeah, obviously it yeah. would have been. It would have been and nice most importantly, it. yeah, most importantly, you left the crowd happy with Rick losing. So. <laughs> yeah. I, I, oh, yeah. you, <laughs> you should have asked Kuro to do a video of the actual Mankind Undertaker match and just plaster Goliath <laughs> Engine's face <laughs> and Rick Reckless's face over the top. Yeah, yeah that would have worked. <laughs> good, uh, good night for uh, Friday Night Stand Firm tonight, uh, Skuro, by the way. Congrats on that. Big wins oh, for yeah. the bread mask and uh, Tony. Yeah. yeah, should 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 be good. Should be good on Friday. Everyone tune in. I mean, you know, I have nothing to do with it. That's all Gorilla Metso. <laughs> Wait, I am Gorilla Metso. Fuck, you called me Skuro, though. <laughs> 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 no, no. <laughs> it's all unraveling. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, are you Rick Rapers or Rick Schiavone? <laughs> According to the picture, <laughs> according to the picture overlay, I reverted to Rick Reckless, and you two have remained <laughs> Jim Ventura and uh, Gorilla Metto. So. Yeah. Not not confusing at all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, maybe do you, do you want? Well, there's only like there's like eight gyms. So. <laughs> yeah. I just quietly I literally have, I, 
I actually have five iterations of Rick Reckless on my on my version of 2K19. <laughs> oh, gotta, oh. gotta eat that. Gotta eat that. And now there's a chance, oh. right? The ball is oh, the ball is baby. open. Two players on the wrong side. Do you even need to put the? Can he get it without the whiz too? Oh boy, he could get to it without the whiz. That might be asking much. Eh? can blitz the lineman. It's a double three plus dodge to blitz the lineman and have one movement left. Hmm. That's with the runner, of course. Oh, sorry, the blitz the beastman, I mean, next to the ball. Yeah, yeah, he oh. had to read it because he rerolled the blitz. Wow, he rerolled the blitz. What a, for a, what a lunatic! Wasn't even watching. Yeah. And B, then go for the ball first, you mentalist, before a blockless block. As Artemis That's would say. crazy. Well, he's the, the heat kind of wrecked him, right? He's used to pick it up on uh, two plus sure hands, and uh, now he's picking it up on three plus no reroll. So yeah. this is... wizard not in use. So uh, we're doing this the hard way. Yeah, but I mean, it can be really good, can't it? Because he can blitz yeah. this guy, and then yeah. he, these two can dodge away. This guy can come around. There's the, he can do a lot here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of dodging from the Chaos Warrior. Yeah, this is really on. Seriously, seriously. I can't believe it. They, the armor on the LOS turn was absolutely immaculate from the Norse. Beyond yeah. any, he, got that uh, one, he got the one out of the way on the 4-plus wild animal. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Genius. Good dice ordering. Good thing he didn't bolt. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. The game fantastic. just assumed he was going to bolt there, and it's like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, especially in OT. Why would you reroll that? Yeah, that, that was a wild reroll. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, let's try and act like Dio. And, uh, and yeah, I guess that's it, right? Interesting. Uh... He's not no, Hail Mary Pass on either guy. team. They're, uh, neither will win the final when they get there. <laughs> he's just standing up one. He's probably going to dodge the dirty player, though. Yeah, yeah. I've, I like that. Keep him occupied with one yeah, and then dodge yeah, with the other. Yeah. But can he get... Who's yeah, the, the runner's got to yeah. make two dodges, two three-plus dodges, and then uh, it can it, he can get onto the ball after the dirty player's made the blitz. Okay, we're going to do it with the runner. That's fair enough. Yeah. He makes them both. He's got to get a oh, power baby. Here, oh. He's got it. And then he can GFI oh, and screen it, can't he? Oh, my God. He can he can yeah. double GFI, pick it up, and actually Huge screen. Huge armor break. He's got ball in hand. Oh, no, that was double GFI. Oh. Yeah, the armor break, too. Yep. Very Me nice. Mega, mega in it against the wrestler. I would have GFI'd yep. with a, this guy. Yeah, I was, I was thinking that, too. There's a dodge fail, though. He doesn't re-roll it. Oh, eat it, and that leaves the wrestle. Yeah, that leves the wrestle to open to go the and, uh, right go and hit the ball and and the tackle. If you're happy to GFI it, yeah, yeah, what a nightmare. I think you have to re-roll that, right? You still have the re-roll. You have I'm to sad not that to see the re-roll. Yeah. yeah. This guy's in a rubbish spot as well because he's not screening either way. This this guy had to either GFI there or yep. GFI there because he's he's yep. not screening the backside. Oh gosh, yeah, the the berserker didn't come and screen, so it was it was two dice on the ball anyway. Yeah, yeah that's why he didn't re-roll it. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, but yeah, it had to be tagging or or screening the backside. Well, I guess it's just more likely we'll see the wizard next turn. The Norse still have a chance with that wizard. No, yeah, obviously try. Once you know that you've failed to screen, you don't you don't reroll it. But if if this was screened or tagged, then I think you have to reroll it because otherwise you're just getting smacked by a wrestle. Like guaranteed, aren't you? You just literally guaranteed hit by a wrestle. But he was guaranteed hit by a wrestle anyway, so yeah, you don't need to reroll it when you're guaranteed getting hit by a wrestle. Whatever you do, <laughs> and there's no point wasting a reroll. I guess you could you could have rerolled it to tag the wrestler. I guess. Yeah, that would have been. Horseman disappearing now. Gone from two down to four down in this drive. Yeah. Got to make it count soon and uh, again hope for some good KO rolls and some more bad chaos heat. But either way, the chaos getting those two incredible players back. Yeah, I mean, it's not out of the realm of possibility. We've seen double pushes before from a, from a must-have a must -have sack, and he's got sidestep so he can get himself in range too if he's not already. Yeah. There he already is, isn't he? Yeah, can't hit him with Rackle, of course. So, yeah, absolutely mm -hmm. pushes a possibility because yeah. Defender yeah. Stumble's not good enough. Yep. Gets the pow. Now, gets the pow of me. <laughs> Instant pow. Instant pow. And the Breaks armor. armor. Oh. Uh, the armor break is the, uh, the death note. Oh. 
question is, is Sniperino going to score early to, tr to get his claw palmer back and hopefully get another Kaz to get tackle <laughs> versus the Skaven or Elves? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> but it'll, it might it'll be just right get MVP. Way. Yeah, he might he's get MVP. He's trying to pick the ball up. Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? He's happy with it there. You can't without Adge 4. Yeah. <laughs> can't even try. I guess he just wants it on this one, right? It's he'll, no, not on the one that he'd level. There was what this one. He wants it on this guy so he can level him, I guess. Rem remove all Norse. Never pick the ball up. 1-0. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's no need to go 2-0 up, is there? Oh, he'd want to score on the Warrior, right? He, he wants there's, to there's quite a few that he actually would like passes on, ideally. So yeah. the Warrior's one away. He's got a wrestle guard uh, Beastman that's one away as well. And then score on the Rookie, yeah. Two completions. And then score, then on, the rookie, score yeah. on the Rookie, yeah. Fantastic. Doesn't bolt again. Thought maybe that might be a wizard there just to try and get the ball in the one standing Norse's hand. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's got no chance, has he? Right now, it's just over, really. Oh! Yeah, okay. <laughs> Fast turn, call it. Yeah, Malala Nusu, right? Yeah, I think last turn he, he, had to, he had to be more adventurous with Berserker. The Berserker had to GFI to either tag or screen, and then he yeah. had to reroll that dodge. I mean, he's given up because it's over, yeah. Try. <laughs> like, I mean, I mean here, if, here, if he fluffs the pick up here, he's got his jump up guy there, and he's got a wizard. It's not over, over, but oh, well, there you go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it almost doesn't even matter if he uses the wizard scores this turn because he's not stopping him again. <laughs> Don't say it's over. It's not over. <laughs> Don't say it's over until you've seen the early GG, even though we can't see them GG. Yeah. Oh, he's getting the surf as well. <laughs> Tom. Tom knows a thing about getting himself banned. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry, Tom. I meant, I meant the one ban yet. <laughs> I just, I did a 10 minute time out and I meant, I meant to like just, you know, undo it after <laughs> about like 20 seconds or something and just totally forgot. <laughs> Tom, hang, Tom, hang out. Tom hangs out in, in uh, Nick's chat all the time. He knows a thing or two about unjust mannings. <laughs> <laughs> and also that was as justified as possible. <laughs> I didn't want to do just a second, so I thought I'll do 10 minutes and then like unban after 30 seconds and then just forget. Yep. Oh, this is just painful now. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Absolute massacre. Absolutely. Yeah, you're massacre. currently banned on this one. And yet you're talking him up. What a that's such a Tom thing to have done. <laughs> Chaos down to one reroll. They can of course get bolted. And then not pick up the ball and win one nothing. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, oh no! Kill <laughs> something! No! <laughs> I see a one dies! I see a one dies! <laughs> Shame it's not Frenzy. Oh, he's got the power! Oh, he's got him! And he wasn't three so squares in! Dodge, right, scatters diagonally miles forwards, and yeah, then the ult yeah. dodge in yeah. the pickup. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, it's oh. in! Oh! oh. Went, went the wrong way. The ult could still technically get to it. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck he's gonna do with it against the <laughs> no. entire team. Much better off doing the uh, the one dice now, yeah. Yeah. So uh, chaos one in nine, run out of rerolls. Yeti's ready next turn. The runner on the stuns. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not looking good, is it? Sim better. The only question I care about is what Sniper Reno is he going to try and get get a Kaz on this beast man? <laughs> uh, uh. I, if I was him, I would have passed the ball to the Norse. <laughs> now, now that his reroll, now that his wizard's gone, pass the ball to the Norse, get to overtime, then you've got plenty of turns to get your claw on a, a Kaz to get tackle. <laughs> In all seriousness, Jim, like Chaos, not not the worst matchup for uh, for Edge teams. No, yeah, it's 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 
arguably an easier match than getting the Norse, to be honest, for, for either me or the or the Sk or Mal Malalanus is Skaven because they just don't have that much tackle, right? The, the Claw Pommer doesn't have tackle yet. Um, he's yep. got tackle on the ball carrier, and he's got a couple of tackles here, but like the Norse with all the frenzy and their armor eight doesn't really matter that much because they're the bash team and uh, the, you know they're armor seven, sorry, and they've got a tackle yeah. pommer, jump up tackle pommer, devastating two dirty players. So no, I, I would rather face the chaos to be honest. That's also, real. Also, got more TV. Oh. Wow. What? Yeah. Kaz have got more TV oh, for, the, for you know getting the whiz. So, yeah, he's uh, six plus for a for a. Uh, a red dice with Juggernaut into one dice. He's going to get fouled oh, first, wait. though. <laughs> Jim foul? Aw. Oh. And yeah, try. Last I checked, uh, Nick has never been anywhere near as important enough as me to be able to cancel something like Firefly as his single greatest <laughs> achievement. So he's got a ways to go, but he's just a kid. I'm sure he'll uh, he'll do great things down under. <laughs> You cancelled Firefly? Did I hear that right? Yeah. Oh, have you? How have you not heard that story yeah. yet? Right? <laughs> yes, I was partially that? involved in the cancellation of Firefly. Yes. Wow. <laughs> and I fucking, oh, yeah. you know, every time I tell the story, I get more proud of it. Because you know, everyone gets so pissed off. My my work to, my work to disdain for you is uh, turning into shoot disdain. <laughs> 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 don't work yourself. Don't work yourself uh, into a shoot, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Partially. <laughs> now I've told the story a million times on the stream. We don't need to do it now. We've got an interesting game to pay attention to here. Yeah, yeah. Go on, tell the story. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! All right. <clears throat> it was the summer of two thousand two. Young Skuro was a was a was a intern at the Fox uh, the Fox Drama Development Department on their uh, lot in in uh, Los Angeles and Hollywood. Uh, I was a film student at the time. It was my junior. It was between my junior and senior year. So it was a big you know it was a big opportunity getting to work in television. Not like the shitty part of Fox either. This is like you know the guys who make The Simpsons and like good you know relatively good television. Yeah, relatively. <laughs> Anyway, they, uh, Drama Development was responsible for all the new shows that year, and uh, they had a couple on their slate. It was uh, Firefly, was this uh, little-known sci-fi show that no one really kind of got or cared about, but it was Joss Whedon who had a cult following from Buffy, so, you know, they gave him, they gave him his shot. Um, <laughs> fuck off, Bezel. <laughs> Don't derail him, Bezel. Don't story. derail him. <laughs> uh, they had another show called John Doe, which only lasted a season as well, which was about maybe two seasons for John Doe. It was like a mystery show about a guy with amnesia. It was more interesting than uh, their marquee show that season. Uh, it was a show called Fast Lane, which was literally just a ripoff of um, Fast and the Furious. And they were like, it's got hot chicks and fast cars, so it's going to make us millions. They thought that show was going to be a tentpole for seven seasons. It lasted a year, I think, as well. Yeah, John Doe. Was, oh, wow. Someone actually remembered John Doe. No one ever remembers that show when I bring it up. But it was cool. Um, but Fastlane was awful. Uh, and they, they thought that show was going to be, like, their big show. Um. Uh, it's a completely different business, Raven. Um, no, D O E, Jack Bull. <laughs> D O E. The, it was the bread mask's anyway. father. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we're telling the story again, Doctor Funk. Apologies. I tried to avoid it. Anyway, uh, I my role as an intern, um, other than sexual favors, obviously, uh, was to. Um, Collate scripts, organize dailies from shoots, and get them all to the senior VP of drama development, who I was the intern for, um, so that he wouldn't have to do any actual work, and he could then go into his meetings and pretend like he knew what was going on on the lot. Um, that's basically how Hollywood works. The interns do all the work while the you know everyone else makes all the money. Um, <laughs> kill. Oh, uh, anyway, um, I being a, uh, somewhat pretentious and plucky film student, I know it's shocker. I was a pretentious artist <laughs> back in the day. Um, yes. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> oh, I'm a G. <laughs> Woo. Oh, it's just a guard. Oh, it's guard actually. Yeah, it's still a guard. Uh, 
Um, yeah, that is not that. That's not true fiction. <laughs> uh, anyway, I one of the one of the things that I was early early on tasked to do was handle the Firefly stuff because um, they took one look at me and were like, "You're probably into sci-fi, so we're gonna hand you this show." <laughs> And uh, so I would have to read all of the scripts um, that were going into production on Firefly and then write, um, write commentary on it for, uh, to basically give the senior VP a way to have an opinion about the production without having to read the script himself. Um, and... Uh, <laughs> no... Uh, so I didn't really like the screenplays to Firefly. They they were really kind of like they're just shittily run written. Um, but I, part of that is just kind of I hadn't watched Buffy. I didn't really get the voice of like Joss Whedon shows and like the edginess of the wit and whatnot. So I wrote really uh, really scathing reviews of those uh, of of those screenplays uh, when I would send them to the uh, senior VP. And coupled that with uh, when I saw dailies for the show, it was a pretty low budget production, all things considered. But they did a good job with it in the yes. end. But all of the dailies I saw <laughs> were completely, um, you know, unfinished. You know, no CGI, no anything. It were just, it looked like shit. Like it looked <laughs> like the biggest be. Like uh, there was a time where I thought it was supposed to be parody. That's how bad it looked in the dailies. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's the story we're telling, LOD. So anyway, uh, I left to go back to college for my senior year, uh, and a few months, weeks, months later, uh, Firefly was uh, uh, canceled before the season ever ended. And uh, I know with great certainty that the senior VP who helped cancel it uh, at no point read any of the screenplays that he was then canceling and uh, had formed no opinion but mine on it. Now, there's a lot of other people involved in decisions like that. It wasn't just one dude, but uh, I definitely know my dude was involved in it and, and carried my negative opinion of the show into its cancellation. So long story short, I generally just tell people I was partially responsible for ca uh, canceling Firefly. It's become a bit of a meme at this point. I have had uh, the Bowie knife, Jane's actual Bowie knife, held to my throat at one point. Uh, that was mildly hilarious and terrifying when I realized that, like, I might have fallen for the easiest way to have myself murdered by someone. It's like, hey, this will be a cool picture. And then he pressed it up against my neck, and I went, uh-oh. <laughs> so that's the story, and that's the last time I'm telling it on stream. Well, thank you very much, because you made an unbearably dull game interesting for at least a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and now this is the, yeah, the most yeah. exciting part of the game. It's the final Clawpon Blitz. Will he get tackle for the final? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, PC, I, I think my penance is that uh, uh, my senior year I wrote a screenplay that got optioned in Hollywood, which is like... I was like, oh, cool, I've made it. I'm going to be, like, the next big thing in Hollywood. I, You know, I'm a senior in college, and I already have a studio buying my screenplay. Uh, except uh, the option fell through, as 80% of options all do. I never moved out to L.A. because I wanted to live in New England. And I was like, well, whatever, I've already sold the screenplay. I can just go to New England, and... Uh, and uh, I'll be famous there. And, you know, it's like, you know, it's like, well, you know, all the, you know, like uh, Matt Damon and and, uh, and Ben Affleck are from right down the street from me. I was like, yeah, I'll just do the same thing. Except I forgot to write another screenplay after that. And so uh, I never, never made it in Hollywood. It's crazy, right? It's pretty crazy. So that's my penance. Never I, I had to give up my career in that. And now I just shoot pro wrestlers <laughs> with a with a camera. <laughs> yes, with a camera. Got to clarify that as an American. <laughs> Especially with Rick in the booth as well. Yeah. <laughs> the F the FF ripoffs, like the Fantastic Four uh, for Fox. No, but I do have an interesting story about that. Um, not Fantastic Four. But this, you know, because this is 2002, this is long before, you know, MCU, Marvel stuff. But they, there's a rule in Hollywood that if you receive a, a solicited, maybe even an unsolicited script, you have to, you have to keep it on file for at least like five years or something. 
And so every now and then I'd just like open this big drawer and just like pick out a script and read it because it was fun. Mm. And I found a screenplay for a Daredevil television show that was way cooler than the Fox Daredevil movie that came out right around that time. And I read it. Always, and I was a big Daredevil fan, like comic fan. So I was like excited about it. And uh, well, I'll let you finish the YouTube video. But anyway, that that never became anything. It wasn't what became the Netflix one. Mm. But it was really fucking good. And they were just sitting on it. Wow. Well, there you go. <laughs> that was much more interesting than anything that happened in the match. Thank you very much, <laughs> Skiro. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> and the uh, the claw pummer did not get tackles. So that's amazing. The MVP went to the Beastman, who didn't level the Beastman. So that's absolutely brilliant. Um, and thank you very much, Rick, as well, for coming on and doing commentary for what, what little happened. Thank you very much. <laughs> absolute pleasure all the best tomorrow jim can't wait and uh at least you can't possibly come out feeling worse than toast guy <laughs> yeah yeah well i i won't be norse for a start so i've already got the moral victory <laughs> thanks <laughs> thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic